Thank you, Michelle. Well, creating a happy and harmonious life through feng shui. Some of you have probably heard about it, but how does it work? The ancient art can support all aspects of your life, and Kim is in our newsroom with a local feng shui expert and more on what it can do for you. Kim? That's right. Good morning. Uh, Robin is here with us, and first we're going to start by what is feng shui? Sure. Feng shui is simply universal common sense. I will tell you it's not religion, definitely not religion, not superstition, not magic. It's the ancient art and uh, Chinese discipline uh -huh. of balancing and harmonizing your space, which just really means good vibes. Because how we live is how we show up in the rest of our life. If we live with things that we love, um, symbols that mean something to us, mm -hmm. it's clean and organized. Those are the types of opportunities, the types of um, energy that come back to us. If we live in a place that's dirty, disorganized, the things that we live with, eh, they're okay, or we keep them out of guilt, that's the type of stuff, the type of energy, the type of opportunities that come that back our way. for the rest of your life. Exactly. Wow. Interesting. Okay, what's Bagua? So Bagua is the feng shui energy map, and it's where everything starts. Everything in our lives can be um, categorized and put into one of nine life categories. Prosperity, fame and reputation, love and relationships, our careers, our family. And each one of those areas is represented spatially in your home, in your office, on your desk. Okay, so we are at Samantha's desk, uh -huh. and we have a before picture to show you. You're looking at what Samantha's desk looked like before, before. Robin got her hands on it. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Okay, so this was it. Yes. Crazy newsroom producer desk. Yes. Now we are going to reveal, voila finished product. Show, tell us what you did Okay. Here. Well, first and foremost, the most important thing you got to do is declutter. You cannot feng shui if clutter is in the way. Um, you cannot feng shui if clutter is in the way. Perfect. Yeah. Because what clutter does, it slows your decision-making process. It muddles your focus. Mm -hmm. It stunts your creativity. It will absolutely affect the flow of abundance and opportunities that are coming into your life. So first we decluttered, we got rid of any trash. Um, I know she likes to keep a pile of you know, books over here that really she's done with. Uh -huh. And so we got rid of those. We got rid of a whole bunch of stuff that was in this corner over here that just wasn't doing anything but taking up valuable real estate. Okay. So. so and then did you reorganize the order of her desk? I did. And so after we declutter, the other thing you gotta do is then I wanna look at everything that's on your desk and I wanna understand what does that mean to you? Mm -hmm. Is it symbol symbolically important to you? Because if it's not, it's just taking up very valuable real estate. Right. And these desks are very small, so uh -huh. every little s tiny bit counts. Very good. Yeah. So we kept brave. We kept brave. And if you remember... if you're the producer of Fox 4 News at 9, <laughs> you are brave. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, and if you remember from that really quick view of the Bagua map, that area is our fame and reputation. Okay. And I know Sean Edwards gave that to her because this little cutie that takes over this desk has this beautiful red hair. Right. And your fame and reputation is all about me, myself, and I. And so this is a fabulous representation of, of Sam. Of she is. And awesome. it means something to her. Mm -hmm. What about this crazy thing? What is this? So that is a money frog. And it's, I'm glad you asked, it's a, a feng shui. Did she have that before? She did, did you not. I brought that, that okay. in. Okay. It's a feng shui symbol of luck and prosperity. And so it's a great item to have in your prosperity corner. Hmm. And think about it. Every time you look at it, you're thinking to yourself, money frog. <laughs> and it's got money in its mouth. Very good. Is it uh, positive to have something living, a plant, a flower, something like that? Definitely. In your space? Definitely. And I specifically put this jade plant in this corner because um, Prosperity, we want prosperity and opportunity and abundance to be vibrant. We want them to be growing. We want them to be lush. Mm -hmm. And so what better way to represent that than a healthy plant? Perfect. Okay, before we let you go, yeah, because we're almost out of time here, mm -hmm. for folks at home, their desk at home needs to be organized because right. that, of course, trickles yes. into your life. But what are some of the biggest mistakes you see in people's homes well, when you go in and help them? Some of the biggest mistakes, I think, is just too much stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we, you want to be able to move easily around your space. You don't want any big pieces of furniture blocking. You know, for many, many years, people brought, bought furniture that was just w way too big for their space. Right. And that causes literal and symbolic hurdles. So that's a big one. Okay. Um, you never want your sofa to face, you know, you don't want your back against your front door. 
Okay. So as we talked about earlier, think about Tony Soprano. Right. He would never make himself that vulnerable. Okay, yeah. very good That's advice. Nice. Thank you. Nick, we're going to send it back down to you because if folks have questions uh, for Robin, they can get in touch with her. Get a hard rap from Sam. I think it's, I think it's working, Sam. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Kim and Robin. Robin is based in Lenexa and does consultations throughout the metro. She also does Skype consultations across the globe. For tips, suggestions, and more, you can find her online at robinstevensfengshui.com.